P study, we can uh, do an API feed to your dictation system and put that in automatically so the doctor doesn't have to dictate it. And then the other thing that we can do is anonymize this data for you if you're wanting to benchmark with the ACR directory. And so we'll anonymize the data and, and send that directly to the ACR for you as well. There's one more connection that we'll talk about with, uh, uh, within the email uh, system, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to the alerts. If we scroll down, we have two different um, organ dose calculations. One is the NCICT, which is the National Cancer Institute. And the other one is for dual dose. You can, you can look at, if you click on um, the hashtag there, you can look at all of the radiation dose estimates for each specific organ. If you come over here on the virtual dose, and let's say you have, again, we have, a, we have an adult female patient here, and we did, she didn't know she was pregnant, and, we didn't, and you didn't do a pregnancy test and find out later that she was pregnant. If you wanted to look at fetal dose, you can um, certainly do that. Click on the pregnancy and, and uh, pick the trimester that the patient was in. The other thing that you can do is use this as a teaching tool. So you can scroll up and down uh, to open the field of view and, and show the technologist the, the additional radiation that each organ may have received if the field of view is open wider. The last thing that's very new on our system is that our Nexo contrast dose software is now integrated into our Nexo dose software. So if you're using the Brocco injectors, you're using the Nexo dose to, uh, software and Nexo. Now it can all be sent into one location. You can get all of your contrast dose data uh, from, the, from the patient as well. Again, you get the patient demographics, you get the procedure that was done. <clears throat> the contrast that was used, um, the program that was used for those particular patients, contrast loaded, contrast injected, any residuals for contrast and saline. You can see all of that information down here. You get your pressure graph throughout the exam. You get a flow rate throughout the exam and, and the phase graph throughout the exam. And that gives a, the, the doctor an indication of um, how the injection went as well so they don't necessarily have to pick up the phone and call the, call the technologist. Um, to find out why. So to recap, uh, the, the first couple of sections here, we have our toolbar, incredibly easy to use on every page. We have our frequent flyer patients that you can get to series level data in in three clicks. We have our search bar that's like a Google search box. You can search for any patient uh, via name, MRN number, session number. If we click on one particular patient, we get into the patient jacket, we can see all of the studies they've had from CT, MRI, MAMO, nuclear medicine, and angiography. In geography, we do peak skin dose. MRI, we're getting the SAR reading from, uh, from the scanner as well. And if we go into one of the patients, we can get our structured dose report, which is here. And we can get both of our organ dose readings uh, as well as contrast uh, if you're using the Bracco Empower injectors and Nexo. Now I want to show you how to run an analytic. This is a very powerful tool within our system. Um, again, it's dummy data. So if you wanted to uh, use this tool uh, more than once, you would what you would do is put in the date range of October 1st to October 31st, click default, name the name the study, and then click Save. So for purposes of our customer, if they'd like to save a particular uh, report that they like, they can always name it and save it at the bottom. Very easy and intuitive to use. Uh, you can pick any modality types that you would like to, to look at on the report. You can pick any type of dose. Uh, 